So my name is Sherman and I'm a front-end web engineer. So that means I build things for the web, things like websites, web apps, anything that you can visit in your browser, that's what I do as a web engineer. When I graduated secondary school, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I was interested in a lot of different things, but none of it was something that I really wanted to major in. My dad, at that time, taught me how to program using a language called MATLAB. And I enjoyed it so much because I thought it was really cool that you could do your math homework with it. To me, that was like, oh, it's amazing. Like, why didn't you teach me about this early on? When I was much younger, when I first discovered the internet, I was really fascinated by all these websites that people put up. When I would visit a website and scroll all the way down to the bottom, you know, this was like maybe more than 10 years ago, there will always be a footer that says, oh, if there's any issues, please contact the webmaster. And I really liked that. I was like, oh, that's so cool. You know, there's like people who actually built these things and they're called webmasters. And when I grow up, you know, I want to be a webmaster too. So in a way, I'm kind of living a dream. Yes, it's hard, I'm not going to lie, it's going to be a lot of work, it can be very frustrating, but it's also very rewarding. Good things don't come easy, that's how I feel about it. Be rigorous. So what I mean by be rigorous is to understand how things work. And you know, when you encounter an error, when you encounter a bug, always make sure to understand what's going on rather than just fixing it and moving on. So being rigorous, that's like the most important thing I can say. Another thing is to not give up because programming is hard, coding is hard, but it can be done. You will struggle, it's not a question of whether you will struggle or not, but it's a matter of struggling in the right direction. So if you can, find a community, find people that will allow you to ask for help, you have to. So don't be afraid of making mistakes, just try things. Build more projects, build things that excite you, just build things that you enjoy. Go ahead, try it out, it's all about practice, so just really go at it. It will always pay off, it's the effort that really counts. So right now, I think the tech industry is kind of limited in the sense that you have like a majority of a gender, a majority of like people from certain backgrounds. And it's a little bit unfortunate because programming and coding is only as useful as the ways you apply it. So when you build something, you build it for users, you build it for other people. So let's say, you know, if I'm a woman and if I'm Malaysian, I can understand the needs of users who are also women and perhaps Malaysian. And that actually makes it a better app. So when you have like a more diverse team, you end up with a better app. So I really encourage diversity in teams, especially if you are a minority in your community, being able to code and being able to build things for your people is a very powerful skill to have. <laughs>